Okay, Venus? Okay, Steve. Right. Let's go. Admit that you will be flying General Rossiter, head of the Space Patrol, in one of your Earth's supersonic airliners. Okay, I'm piloting the General of Space City. So what? According to our information, Colonel Zodiac is to be decorated Astronaut of the Year by the General. What's that to you? Zodiac will be dealt with later. But you, Major, will see that the General never arrives. Switch on the brainwashing machine. You won't get away with this. I wouldn't help you. Yes, you will, Major. You will have no choice. <laughs> Maximum pressure countdown. Five. This treatment will make you crash the airliner when you reach 80,000 feet. The machine will show what is going to happen, Major. You will remember everything and obey. The airliner when you reach 80,000 feet. your orders, won't you, Major? Your commands will be carried out. What do you toots think this is? It's Space City, not Carnegie Hall. Close that window, Lieutenant. And you better smarten up, Lieutenant, or else the General have something to say. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, uh, Johnny Jackson, the TV commentator, said he'd like to see you, sir. Ah, oh, Johnny Jackson, Johnny Jackson. Who do these TV people think they are? I think he wants you to go on television, sir. This is a responsible position, and all he... Uh, uh, go on television? Um, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess I better go and see him.
Thanks for the offer of the lift, General. I'll be delighted to join you on the liner. Oh, you don't have to thank me, Venus. Uh, the pleasure is ours, uh, isn't it, Major? Uh, yes, sir. The pleasure will be ours. You will carry out your orders, Major. Strange. Something seems to be bothering Major Todd. Oh, I expect he's a little nervous, sir, having such an important passenger. Oh, well. <laughs> Calling Dr. Venus. Your call to Space City. Oh, excuse me, General. That'll be my call to Steve Zodiac. Hello, Venus. How did you get on with your space psychology papers? Oh, fine, Steve. I've got my diploma. Well, that's boss. And listen, there's even better news. General Rossiter has offered me a lift back. So I'll be back for the big day. That is good news. We're making the trip in one of the latest supersonic liners, Steve. I can see it on the runway. Oh, it looks a beaut. Well, it looks as if our little scheme is going as planned. Yes, yes, three short hours, and we shall get our revenge on the cursed space patrol. <laughs> That's the setup, sir. We aim to bring our viewers a complete picture of all the Space City landmarks and the astronaut presentation as our high spot. Yeah, well, TV or not, we've got a space patrol to run. You just go right ahead. And if you can arrange for the Earth to be invaded while we're on the air, we'd sure appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you. Now, if that's all... Oh, uh, but it isn't, sir. I want to talk about the show. Show? What show? I thought it'd be kind of boss if the XL5 crew and the ground staff did a little number after the presentation. Why, you great toot! What do you think this is here? The Space Follies? Well, uh, sir, uh, my company will give uh, $100,000 to charity if you do it. Mister, the Space Follies are at your service. This is airport control. Please clear the runway for fueling. This is airport control. Fueling will be completed in 20 minutes. Well, another two hours and we'll be on our way. Bang, on schedule. Exactly as planned. That's right. Hey, are you feeling okay, Major? My orders will be carried out. He's acting peculiar. I wonder what's wrong. Well, so that's the story. For a hundred thousand bucks, they want some kind of song and dance. Well, I think we should go along with it, Commander. Oh, so do I, Steve. So far as I'm concerned, there's only one problem. Who's gonna sing? Sing? sing. sing? Yes, sing. Now, sit down, all of you. Not you, Lieutenant 90. I don't know what the General is going to say at your slapdash, untidy appearance, Lieutenant. But uh, right now, sing. Sing? Yes, sing. That's an order. Yes, sir. I wish I was a spaceman. Stop it, Lieutenant. And that's an order, too. What about the professor here? Oh, uh, thank you, Jock. I, uh, I was waiting for someone to ask. <clears throat> I would, uh, I would now like to, uh, 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 render, uh, that great favorite, uh, Save the speeches, man. Uh, oh, uh, uh, sorry, Steve, yeah. <clears throat> I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I think I... I prefer the lieutenant. All right, we'll leave the vocalist job open. Now, uh, what about the accompaniment? Well, that's all right, Commander. You can play the drums. Venus is great on the saxophone. And uh, I, I can play the piano. You? <laughs> He's joking. He can't play a note. Oh, can I? We'll just see about that. Steve's right. I can't play a note. One. And this supersonic airliner takes off. Supposing something should go wrong, nothing will. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we shall even be able to watch it on our television screen. Thanks to the Earth people. They are televising the whole event. <laughs> Airport control. Takeoff is now 60 minutes away. I wonder if you could spare me a moment, sir. Certainly, Venus. Uh, Any time. Well, I've been thinking about Major Todd. Perhaps it would be just as well if I checked him over before takeoff. I'm not too happy about the way he's behaving. Well, uh, we haven't much time, dear. I know, General. That's why I thought you could arrange it. Oh, well, I... Hmm? I see. Right, thank you, Major. That will be all. It was uh, just a routine checkup. I understand, Doctor. Uh, well, Dr. Venus, uh, are you satisfied? Well, physically, he seems to be A-OK, -okay, sir. But there's something that bothers me. I don't know what it is, but I just feel uneasy about him. <laughs> Maybe I can't play the piano, but this little gadget will fool him. Slide technical hitch. Say, uh, you're not still worried, are you, Venus? I should know the signs. Of course, I'm a duty. I've just completed a course of space psychology, and I couldn't even recognize brainwashing. General, our lives are in danger. The pilot is acting under orders. We must stop the takeoff. This is Johnny Jackson, folks, and I'm speaking to you from Space City, home of the fabulous World Space Patrol. Right this minute, we're in the control room where all the important decisions are made and executed by Commander Zero. Now, Commander, you and Lieutenant 90 are in charge of the whole shooting match. That's right. I'm in charge. Climb to 80,000 feet. Climb to 80,000 feet. It's no good, General. I can't bring him out of it. I guess he means to crash this liner when we reach maximum height and speed. You try and stop him, sir. I'll contact base. At last, we've got some peace and quiet. Lieutenant, how many more times do I have to tell you to smarten up? With a general arriving soon, you should be gleaming. Yes, sir. You can get better creases in your pants than that, and more shine on your shoes. Yes, sir, as you say, sir. I just don't know what this service is coming to. Now, where are these TV people? This is Jock, the chief engineer of yours. He's responsible for the power plant at Space City. Isn't that right? Aye. Aye, that's right, laddie. Now, can you think of anything that would be of particular interest to our viewers, Jock? Oh, hi, laddie. A tune on the bagpipes. <laughs> and that was Zuni, Dr. Venus's pet lazoon. I guess he's pretty scared of the bagpipes. Oh, hi, Steve. Matt, how's it going? Uh, I can't say that I like this waiting, Commander. This is Venus calling Space City. Venus calling Space City. This is an emergency. Repeat, this is an emergency. Did you hear that, folks? An emergency. A real, live emergency. 
Something has gone wrong. Quiet. Listen. Lose height, Major. Climb to 80,000 feet. Climb to 80,000 feet. Well, that's about the story, Steve. Major Todd's the only one here who can fly this bird. And something is going to happen when we reach 80,000 feet. Steve, what can we do? You could take off in Fireball Junior, Steve. Yeah. Hold on, Venus. We're on our way. So, the plan has failed after all. Our leader will have something to say about this. Ah, uh, Steve Zodiac is helpless. He can't stop the airliner from crashing unless he boards it. And that's impossible. Stand by for vertical takeoff. Detached nose cone on point of takeoff. Firing mean motors. Takeoff, A-OK. -okay. Estimated meeting time. Three minutes. Here in the Space City control room, the suspense is absolutely terrific. Will Steve Zodiac, astronaut of the year, be in time? He's uh, still climbing. Hurry, Steve, hurry. Crash the airliner. Crash the airliner. Venus, can you hear me? Yes, Steve. Get the Major away from the controls. But we can't, Steve. Well, knock him out. Anything but get him away from the controls. Listen to what I say carefully. Take over the controls. Bring the stick towards you, slowly. Now a little to the right. Oh, boss! Real boss, Venus! Well, viewers, I've just heard from that great guy, Commander Zero, that Venus is piloting General Rossiter to Space City. Steve Zodiac, astronaut of the air, is radioing instructions from Fireball Jr. Commander, Zoon is taking a ray gun. Jeepers, that's all I need. Come back, you zany Zuni. Juni, Juni, don't, 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 please, don't. Oh, oh. oh, look at that, Commander. My beautiful bagpipes are ruined. Calling Commander Zero. Fireball Junior and Supersonic Airliner are over Space City. Take it easy, Venus. Take it nice and easy. Well, viewers, that is the sort of emergency the Space Patrol deal with. Now, don't write to me and say it was a put-up job. It all happened just as you saw it. Yep, that was for real. Venus, you were great! Yeah, you can say that again. How's the Major? He's been taken to the sick bay. He'll be okay, but it'll take a little while to get him back to normal. It's a good thing I took that course.
Welcome to Space City, sir. Well, well, well. Quite a reception. But uh, you should take a leaf from your lieutenant's book, Commander, and uh, smarten yourself up. Yeah, but, uh, sir, I... I mean, I mean, you see, sir, I, I, I've been telling uh, the, the smart and the smart and... Uh, well, well, I'll be doggone. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the astronaut of the year, Colonel Steve Zodiac. Great pleasure to announce that for outstanding bravery, exceptional service, and courage beyond the call of duty, special awards have been made to Dr. Venus and Professor Matthew Maddock. What a team! I've said it before and I'll say it again. What a team! Thank you, folks. And now I have a surprise announcement to make. Don't go away, folks. Boy, have you got a treat in store for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Space Patrol and their music. play a little number and the TV company have kindly donated to charity a large sum of money unfortunately uh, we haven't got a vocalist uh, <clears throat> excuse me but uh, we have commander you mean uh, you you sing <laughs> well then uh, what are we waiting for the one the two the three I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you around the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, conquers of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry Would be a fireball, a fireball. 